What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, cats and rappers, xenomorphs, superheroes, and supervillains of the internet. This is Devin with Gaming in Progress. And uh, today we're going to be doing something I haven't done in quite a while. Uh, as you may or may not know, uh, a while back uh, when Battlefield Hard... I did some reviews on a couple guns. Now the beta ended before I had time to uh, kind of go over all the guns. Um, and I've been I've been playing the game quite a bit, as you'll tell here. I have uh, the silver camo or the silver camo for the ACWR, which you have to have a certain amount of kills for and stuff like that, and silver stars. Uh, but anyway, I've been playing this game for a while, and I've been trying to figure out how I want to handle um, the gun reviews on this uh, on Hardline, because the Hardline guns are a bit different from Battlefield 4 guns, and uh, I don't have a computer to really edit my videos together very well. Uh, I just kind of make with make do with what I have. Um, but what I've been thinking about doing is this, and I'm going to try this for you guys today. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show you guys some gameplay. Um, part of this will be me talking right now. Uh, this is all live gameplay, meaning that I'm jumping out of this building right now. Uh, and it's not just overlaid with uh, the gunplay. Uh, my voice isn't overlaid afterwards, um, like some of the other videos that I've done on this channel. Now the reason being is whenever I do that, uh, it makes my audio sound all wonky and shit, and it adds some- it, it's- I think it's the way uh, Share Factory compresses the audio. Uh, and I really don't like the way it sounds, I mean I like the ability to be able to get the footage and then talk over it uh, leisurely, so I- able to do both well in the game and with what I'm saying, uh, but I don't like the way my audio comes off sounding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, this gun, which is ACWR, and uh, give you guys some live gameplay, and then we'll cut to um, some pre-recorded gameplay with my voice rendered over it, uh, just so I can talk a little bit more about the gun stat-wise. Um, that was the issue I had uh, when doing my Battlefield Hardline review of the K-10 and the 416 was I wasn't able to uh, focus on the stats of the gun and play the game live, obviously. Uh, so we're going to take a look at here how I have the ACDVR set up, and I've, I seem to uh, do fairly well with this setup. Uh, some of these things will take a little bit of time and cash to unlock. Uh, I have the Micro T1 uh, for my optic. The extended magazine uh, seems to be the most useful attachment out of all of these, um, just because the ACWR has a uh, sort short of a uh, smaller magazine capacity. Uh, I have the heavy barrel, which works very, very well with this gun. It improves the accuracy and pretty much cranks up the control to as much as you can have it. And then, of course, lastly, I have a stubby grip. Now, I chose the stubby grip over the angled grip because I want uh, I wanted that accuracy boost. And the control is already so great with this weapon, I feel like a, 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 a vertical or angled grip doesn't do as well as a stubby grip. Um, now, this gun setup seems to work pretty well uh, for both close and uh, medium range combat. Here, I'm doing damage to this guy. I don't take him out, um, but he only had 26% health, so it's kind of a luck of the draw thing there. I could have probably taken him out if I had just a little bit more health. Uh, now, for the perks you want to use with this setup, uh, the most useful perk for perk one that I've found is uh, definitely get the extended or uh, the extra magazines. Uh, because with a gun like this, you're going to be uh, emptying your magazine quite a bit. Especially when you don't have uh, the ma uh, the extended mags for this gun. So I would definitely recommend the extra magazines for your perk one. Uh, the rest of them, uh, it's kind of like a trial and error basis for whatever works best for you. Um, if you want to, if you even want to go into that, uh, which I'm not going to, I'll just leave the rest of the the perks, so to speak, up to you. In that matter, cheers. So as you can see, I was able to take that guy out pretty easily. And this is a this is also a pretty lightweight gun, so you you have good movement even with the heavy barrel. Uh, one thing I will note also is this gun works fairly well with a suppressor too. 
Uh, simply because of its rate of fire, the ACWR, just like the uh, real-life ACR made by Bu made originally by Magpul and then by Bushmaster, uh, when Bushmaster bought the rights from it uh, from Magpul, uh, the real-life ACR has a has a fast rate of fire. Uh, pretty close to the rate of fire in the game. I'd say maybe just a little bit faster. Uh, but it was designed to be a carbine. Uh, it was a carbine designed to replace the uh, M4 uh, for standard use by the United States military. Uh, they didn't end up choosing it simply because it wasn't cost effective, supposedly. Which means it costs more than the army wanted to pay for it. I mean, a single one uh, for civilians without the fully automatic capabilities costs about two grand. So you figure with fully automatic capabilities, that would be three, maybe four. Uh, and then on top of that, you have the fact that you'd be buying those in bulk for like maybe 100,000 to 200,000 soldiers. Okay, so I'm going to cut out here. Uh, and then I'm going to bring us back in a little bit into the next game, just so you guys can see a little bit more gameplay. And then once uh, once that rant's pretty much over, we'll move on to stat-wise. Okay, so moving on to the stats, it's maximum damage is 25, minimum is 15. It's drop-off is 25 meters, starting and ending at 50. Um, the fire rate is 800 RPMs, and the muzzle velocity is uh, 500 and uh, milliseconds and 300 when suppressed. It has a standard mag size of 31, obviously with a 36 round extended mag, uh, which helps quite a bit. It's got a pretty fast reload of 2.2 seconds empty and two seconds with one round left. It's uh, time to kill and it's uh, clocks in about uh, 630 milliseconds at 90 feet. And for comparison, it clocks in at uh, 229 milliseconds at 2 feet. Uh, it's bullets to kill uh, drops in at about 4 at 2 feet. And uh, 7 at again at 90 feet. Uh, and it is pretty flatlined. Uh, after 40, 46 feet, it pretty much stays at 7. Uh, and at 44, it jumps... Uh, it drops down to 6, and uh, 38 dropping down to 5, and then uh, 26 do dropping back down to 4. Uh, so basically what this means is it can get the job done at close range, uh, medium range, and even long range if you really need to uh, take out those targets that are farther away from you than you're usually used to. That being said, I would still uh, recommend this gun for close quarters. Uh, it has a pretty good aim down sight spread uh, for minimum being uh, stand while standing 0.5 and um, and moving for 0.5. It's maximum at 1.75, and this is pretty much the same uh, for crouching prone and uh, and hip fire accuracy accuracy as well. Um, the recoil up is 0.25, down 0.4. Recoil right is 0.3, and its recoil decrease is 15 with a first shot mu multiplier being 2.3. So anyway, we're going to get back to the gameplay now, because uh, I decided to have this in the middle and have gameplay at the beginning and the end. So uh, yeah, we'll hop back in the game into a different game now. Okay, so uh, we're back with the live game. Play, and I'm just kind of running this with the suppressor now to show you guys real quick uh, just to kind of wrap things up um, First thing I want to uh, kind of say was uh, well other than the gun uh, It is still effective at um, medium and uh, short range obviously with the suppressor It's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get those long-range kills, but you still can pull it off I've done pretty well with it There's that guys above me um, but anyway, moving on, uh, one, a couple notes I wanted to uh, give you guys before I left, so to speak. Uh, first off, sorry it's been so long since I've done some Battlefield content. Uh, I did my first impressions video a couple weeks back, and I know it's been a little, a little while since, uh, since then. Uh, I've been trying to get together more hardline videos. Um, I accidentally kind of made the mistake of trying to take on several at once and realized that that just doesn't work for me. I gotta work on one gun and one project at a time here uh, for Battlefield Hardline stuff. As you guys know, I am working on other videos uh, for different games and stuff, but for the Hardline videos, I'm just gonna take it one at a time and do them as I see fit. Um, 
from gun reviews to other things. Uh, I will be working on a full Battlefield Hardline review. Uh, I want to finish off the story and uh, get as much gameplay uh, online as I can. Po as I can. Uh, just so I can give my full opinions on the game and whether it's, uh, well, maybe not whether it's your, worth your money, or, but at least whether I think it's worth my money. Um, I will say that I kind of had a love-hate relationship with Hardline so far, um, but I'll get into that more in the full review. Uh, other than that, um, what else did I want to talk about real quick before I took off? Uh, covered the fact that I'm working on a view. Um, Oh, and uh, yeah, as you, as as uh, time goes on, you guys you guys will see more uh, gun reviews. Um, I know I'm not the only person out there who does them, but I am hoping that I can offer a little bit of my own unique perspective on it. Uh, the guns I run with and the way I run with them may not be the exact same way that other people do, and they may or may not work for you. Um, if they don't, that's fine. If they do, that's awesome. Uh, I just want to kind of help you guys find what works for you um, by hoping, by sharing what seems to work for me, and uh, hopefully it'll work for you guys too. Also, watch out for these things. <laughs> this thing me off. Um, anyway, uh, but that about does it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the uh, or like the way that I kind of put together this gun review. Um, I, I'm glad to say that uh, you guys won't have to do too much of the compressed voice audio. And uh, if you guys like it enough, I'll probably do it that way from now on. Uh, start off with the live bit, and then when I get to the stat bit, switch over. Uh, other than that... Fuck. Um, <laughs> other than that, that pretty much does it for this video. So, uh, if you guys are new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're gonna be doing more hardline stuff. Uh, we get all kinds of stuff in the works here all the time, and I know I say that a lot, and I swear it's true. <laughs> it's just uh, some stuff it does get delayed um, for various reasons. There are three, there are two going, two now three content creators at the time of this video going up um, on the channel, and we're all trying to manage everything together and schedule everything so we're not on top of each other and but still have a good plethora of content daily for you guys. So um, it might get to be to the point where we upload more than one thing a day. I'm not really sure if we're there yet. Um, that's up to you. I'll leave that up to you guys. If you guys want to see more than one video from us a day or if you think one is good for now. Um, personally, I think one is fine for now. Uh, just going by our subscriber count. Um, that's just my opinion. I mean, bigger channels put out more content daily because there's more people coming in different directions during different times of the day. So anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button. Uh, it really helps us out here. And uh, share this video with your friends. Uh, and as always, this is Devin with the Gaming in Progress. And I will see you guys in the next video. This Later. is Devin with Gaming in Progress. And today I received some disturbing news. It would seem a YouTuber by the name of Varello recently had his channel suspended due to several of his videos receiving numerous flags on them or uh, inappropriate thumbnails or misleading content for the reason that people claim to flag the videos for. Now, these, vid these flags all happened within a short amount of time and were on only a couple of his videos. Now, I've seen pretty much all the videos on his channel and I can say without a doubt that these flags were in fact false. Which basically means that the same thing that happened to Joe recently at the, ex at the laughter of Broke.